Hello everyone, Chris Santiago with MMA On. Today I'm here with John Hollywood Sweeney ahead of his XMMA 4 bouts in New Orleans, Louisiana. John, how's it going today? It's going good, brother. I can't complain at all. Everything went perfectly smooth for this one. We're here on Bourbon Street. What, what's the vibe like over here in New Orleans? Oh man, it's lovely. It's incredible actually, man. I, I've actually never been here before, so to get to experience this city, man, hey, I love it and I'm definitely, I will be back. Mm -hmm. You made weights at 135 today. How did the weight cut feel? How was this certain weight cut? Honestly, this was the easiest weight cut I've ever had in my life. So uh, I came in prepared months ago. I uh, did everything correct. And now I'm just ready to reap the benefits of that hard work. Mm -hmm. You're fighting Cole Smith, uh, short nose replacement. You were supposed to fight uh, no, Helen uh, Hernandez. Uh, what did you think about the opponent dropout? I mean... It doesn't come to surprise for me. I've been doing this for a while, and when guys look me up and figure out how hard I work, a lot of times opponents drop out. And uh, it's been time for me to get an opponent who uh, is kind of like Cole. He's been he's fighting a lot of top guys. He's fought in the UFC, so I knew he would show up. They sent me a group of guys, and, and then immediately when I seen Cole Smith and seen some other guys, I was like, that's the guy who's going to show up, and that's what I need, just somebody who shows up, baby. Mm -hmm. And you think... You had uh, three wins in 2021. Do you think this win would put you over the top, especially over uh, a former UFC veteran? I believe it will. I believe this is the one that's going to get the odds and let people know I'm for real and I got true skill and I'm a world-class athlete and a world-class fighter and this is exactly the type of win I need to put me right over that hump. What do you need on Saturday to get the call from the UFC, to get that contract, to get that shot? I don't necessarily need a finish, but they know how I fight, and I'm always looking for a finish, whether it's with my elbows, my hands, my feet, submissions. But I just need to fight how I fight, a good show, and I'm a performer. And that's why they call me Hollywood, and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do my thing, and when they see this fight, they're going to know, oh, this guy belongs in the UFC. Mm -hmm. Your last fight, you gave me a Mystic Mac prediction. You said that if you touch Dre Miley over one, two times, six times, that you were going to put his lights out, and that's exactly what happened. Yes, Do you have a certain Mystic Mac prediction of how this one goes? I was feeling, I was telling my guys, I was feeling a little nice, and I, and I told them 37 seconds. But the way I, I'm feeling, and I've been drinking this water, and I've been feeling a little mean and a little aggressive, so I'll give 36. <laughs> How's the work been over at Upset Karate for this camp? Man, it's been lovely. I've been getting to train with, you know, Wonder Boy all my life since I've been starting with MMA. We got a lot of additions. We got uh, Coach Devaney, Mizzou wrestler. We have uh, actually Chase Hooper's in right now, you know what I mean? So we just, I just have a lot. And I got my guy, uh, Carl Reed, he's been helping me out, been doing film work, film study, then the great Mr. T, who's always been there for me and always putting it on the line. We got Weston Wilson on the car as well. Great training partner. Kind of has a similar build to Cole. You know what I mean? He's tall. He's lanky. And so I've been getting a lot of work. And my coach, Brad Screen, who's going to be here, black belt under Carlos Machado. I've been doing a lot of jits back to my roots. And man, I'm just very excited to display everything I've learned and everything I've worked hard for this camp. You got the best style out of this whole XMA 4 card. Uh, explain your fit to me. Man, oh, 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 man, oh, so I got the Calvin Klein, you know what I'm saying? And really, I'm light right now. Tomorrow, I'm going to have the True Religion on and, and some other stuff. But, you know, I got the little Calvin Klein, got the uh, dress-up pants, nice kicks on. And so that's what I do, man. I'm Hollywood. I come to show and I come to look good. And when you look good, you feel I used to play football. And I had a coach tell me, once you look good and you feel good, you play good. So that's the, that's the motto, baby. I train hard. My body, I look good. I dress well, and when and that all correlates into a very confident young man. And once I step inside of that cage, they're gonna see my confidence. What position did you play back in your football days? I, I was a, I was fat man. Believe it or not, I used to weigh about 195 pounds, 200 pounds. I played, and uh, that was when I first started. So I played nose guard, defensive end, and then when I started to lose weight, I played fullback. Mm -hmm. Uh, spur position it's kind of like an outside linebacker and then my last year of football I played a little running back but then I stopped football in like the 11th grade just to focus on wrestling uh, got a scholarship went on to wrestle a little bit in college and that didn't plan I mean it could have planned out but I was just so ready to fight so eager to fight 
I, just, I dropped out and my parents let me and uh, I told them I would go to the uh, community college in, uh, in my state, but I never did. I just turned pro and here we are now. You might not be in school, but you're schooling people and fighting. Uh, yes. uh, but, you know, with this uh, fight ahead of you, what kind of music have you been listening to? What kind of music has Hollywood been listening to ahead of this fight? So I've been listening to a lot, man. To, actually, my uncle made a song for me that uh, I won't get to come out to this one, but that's okay. And we're in NOLA, so I've been listening to a lot of Hot Boys, Juvenile, Wayne. I wanna, so this one I'm gonna get the crowd going, and we're gonna come out probably to some Juvenile or some Hot Boys, and uh, and we're gonna really get the crowd pumping. We in NOLA, baby. And Hot Boys originated here, Lil Wayne originated here, they're from here, so I, I'm gonna get the crowd on my side again, and, uh, and that's what I like to do. I like to pump everybody up and make it an experience for everyone around me. If Dana White and the UFC matchmakers were watching this right now, what, what message would you, would you have to give to them? Uh, only message I would like to say, a lot of people say they deserve this, they deserve that. You deserve what you get. You work hard, and if you get that opportunity, you get it. And you just can't fuck up when you get it. So all I want to say is uh, just I just hope you guys tune into the show. And once you see me and once you see how I perform and my style, they're going to know I was born to be in the UFC and be putting guys' lights out and be putting on a show. Like, my style is made for the UFC. I talk that and I back it up, you know. Awesome. And uh, last question for you. How's Hollywood going to celebrate such a great win on Saturday? That's a good question. I'm going to come out uh, after I win. I have some family coming into town, so we're going to go get some good food, man. I want some. I want a shrimp po' boy. I want some jambalaya. I want some damn uh, gumbo. I want one of them, what's them cakes they got? Them uh, supposed to be famous, what do they call them, with the, with the powdered sugar on them? A, uh, nah, it's kind of like a funnel cake, but it's the fancy version of it. It's like a, uh, they got so many places. I want to ask somebody, but uh, it's called a, um, it's a fancy word yeah. for it, man. I forget what it's called. It's something like that, but it's like a funnel cake. They put the powdered sugar on it, and everybody's out here saying how good they are. So we're going to try those. We're going to get some dessert. We're going to get some jambalaya, some gumbo, some po' boys, and we're going we gonna, to we gonna have a good time after. What message you ha did you have to send to the Hollywood fans out there watching worldwide? Hey, man, I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. And uh, if you're not a fan right now, you will be here soon. Hollywood is going to take over the whole MMA scene here soon. And a lot of these guys think they're good. And a lot of the guys think they got the style. Sean O'Malley, uh, Kai Coward, all these guys, man, they don't really, they can talk a good game and they can sell themselves okay, but they haven't really seen how to really do it. And that's what I want to show. We'll make sure to catch Hollywood's fight at XMMA 4. You can catch it on April 2nd in New Orleans, Louisiana. Thank you. I want to shout out Upstate Karate. I want to shout out everybody who helped me with this camp, and I mean everyone. If you did any just a little thing for me, I want to shout you out my friends, my family, uh, my parents, my dad, my aunts and uncles. Every single person who helped me for this camp, I very much appreciate you, and uh, we all going up when I go up. Awesome. Thanks, John. Uh, He'll probably take some photos of you right here.